Hey, Ehawks, Miss Valine here, your CCMS Media Specialist, back with your first Chapter Fridays. I have something a little bit different for you. Um, this book that I've chosen is actually written in verse, meaning that it's written in as, as poetry, poems that are connected together that tell an entire story. Um, so it's a little bit different to read. Uh, I have found that sometimes I have to reread chapters a couple of times or st stanzas or poems, reread them, um, because it makes better sense to me after I kind of absorb the language that the author is kind of throwing at me. Cause you know, in poetry, they always have to you know, choose their words very carefully so that sometimes these words have like full important meaning that because um, there's so few words that you have to kind of stop and chew on it a bit to really get the effect of what they're trying to say here. And this is true with um, with our book today, which is dun, 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 dun. let me share my screen with you. Jason Reynolds' Long Way Down. You may know Jason Reynolds already because he has written a ton of books. Um, I just found him a couple of years ago and I have to tell you every single book that I uh, pick up from him, I thoroughly enjoy. I really do enjoy it. It is, um, he, he pulls a lot of of his life into his books like a lot of authors do and he has had a uh, very rough life very very rough life and um, it, it was through rap music that he was able to um, become this poet and this writer listening to rap and um, how rappers have to choose very specific words that have full meaning because you don't talk in full sentences when you rap. Same thing with poetry. Rap is just a form of poetry. So you may know him, Jason Reynolds, you may know him from books such as When I Was the Greatest. Probably the book that most of you know are his ghost series, the ghost, patina, um, maybe Sunny, Lou, Track. Um, all of those are Jason Reynolds. Um, and I believe most of those are written um, in chapters, you know, as, as regular um, novels. Um, but take a look at this. So Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. I'm going to read it first for you. And then I'm going to have Jason Reynolds read it to you. It's kind of how I experienced it. I first picked it up and I read it and I really wanted to see what his voice sounded like. So I was able to get the audiobook and um, and listen to him and his interpretation of it. It's a long way down. Don't nobody believe nothing these days, which is why I haven't told nobody the story I'm about to tell you. And truth is, you probably ain't gonna believe it either, gonna think I'm lying or I'm losing it, but I'm telling you, this story is true. It happened to me, really. It did. It did. My name is Will, William, William Holloman. But to my friends and people who know me, know me, just Will. So call me Will, because after I tell you what I'm about to tell you, you'll either want to be my friend or not want to be my friend at all. Either way, you'll know me, know me. I'm only William to my mother and my brother, Sean, whenever he was trying to be funny. Now I'm wishing I would have laughed more at his dumb jokes. Because the day before yesterday, Sean was shot and killed. I don't know you, 
don't know your last name, if you've got brothers or sisters or mothers or fathers or cousins, that be like brothers and sisters and aunties and uncles, that be like mothers and fathers. But if the blood inside you is on the inside of someone else, you never want to see it on the outside of them. The sadness. It's just so hard to explain. Imagine waking up and someone, a stranger, got you strapped down, got pliers shoved into your mouth, gripping a tooth. Somewhere in the back, one of the big important ones, and rips it out. Imagine the knocking in your head, the pressure pushing through your ears, the blood pooling. But the worst part, the absolute worst part, is the constant slipping of your tongue into the new empty space. It's so hard to say. Sean's dead. Sean's dead. Sean's dead. So strange to say, so sad. But I guess not surprising, which I guess is even stranger and even sadder. The day before yesterday, me and my friend Tony were outside talking about whether or not we get any taller now that we were 15. When Sean was 15, he grew a foot, maybe a foot and a half. That's when he gave me all the clothes he couldn't fit. Tony kept saying he hoped he grew because even though he was the best ball player around here, our age, he was also the shortest. And everybody knows you can't go all the way when you are the small unless you can really jump like fly. And then there were shots. Everybody ran, ducked, hid, tucked themselves tight, did what we've all been trained to, pressed our lips to the pavement and prayed the boom followed by the buzz of a bullet ain't meet us. After the shots, me and Tony wanted like, waited like we always do for the rumble to stop before picking our heads up and poking our heads out to count the bodies. This time, there was only one. I've never been in an earthquake. Don't know if this was even close to how they are, but the ground definitely felt like it opened up and ate me. That is the first part of Jason Reynolds' intense, seriously intense read of Long Way Down. I want to share with you though, again, rereading it, you may get some more from it. And I'm gonna allow Jason Reynolds himself and share his words of the first chapter. Hi, this is Jason Reynolds, author and narrator of the audiobook Long Way Down. Don't nobody believe nothing these days, which is why I haven't told nobody the story I'm about to tell you. And truth is, you probably ain't gonna believe it either gonna think I'm lying or I'm losing it, but I'm telling you, this story is true. It happened to me. Really. It did. It so did. My name is Will. William. William Holloman. But to my friends and people who know me, know me, just Will. So call me Will, because after I tell you what I'm about to tell you, you'll either want to be my friend or not want to be my friend at all. Either way, You'll know me, know me. I'm only William to my mother and my brother Sean whenever he was trying to be funny. 
Now I'm wishing I would have laughed more at his dumb jokes because the day before yesterday, Sean was shot and killed. I don't know you. Don't know your last name. If you got brothers or sisters or mothers or fathers or cousins that be like brothers and sisters or aunties or uncles that be like mothers and fathers. But if the blood inside you is on the inside of someone else, you never want to see it on the outside of them. The sadness is just so hard to explain. Imagine waking up and someone, a stranger, got you strapped down, got pliers shoved into your mouth, gripping a tooth somewhere in the back, one of the big important ones, and rips it out. Imagine the knocking in your head, the pressure pushing through your ears, the blood pooling. But the worst part, the absolute worst part is the constant slipping of your tongue into the new empty space where you know a tooth supposed to be, but ain't no more. It's so hard to say Sean's dead. Sean's dead. Sean's dead. So strange to say, so sad, but I guess not surprising, which I guess is even stranger and even sadder. That was Jason Reynolds reading his own um, first chapter, a little less than what I read. His inspiration, like I told you in the beginning, came from um, his life. And so I wanted to share with you a little bit about um, what inspired him to write this, um, this book. Here's Jason Reynolds' interview that was posted by his publisher, Farber and Farber. Hi, this is Jason Reynolds, author and narrator of the audiobook Long Way Down. Two things inspired the story. One, I spend a lot of time in juvenile detention centers. And when you spend time in juvies and you talk to the young people who are locked away, and by the way, there are thousands of kids locked in maximum security juvenile detention centers who are serving 10 year sentences at 14 years old. Many people don't know that that's even a thing in America. <laughs> and when you talk to them, you find out that a lot of them are there because of a beef, gang beefs that have gone on and have gone back and forth for years, right? A gang beefs that now exist within a vacuum and sort of spin on their own axes. Then most of the kids have no idea where these beefs began. They're just carrying out the orders based on the rules. And so I met some young people over in California a long time ago, and a lot of them were in jail because of this sort of rival gang situation, this rivalry. But what I found out is that the rivalry began in the 1960s over a pair of shoes in jail. And these kids are still shooting each other, going back and forth, retaliating and retaliating and retaliating with no idea what the root of the issue is. And it's just heartbreaking to think about it that way. The other thing that spawned the story, though, is because I lost a friend. I mean, I lost a lot of friends, but one particular buddy of mine, Randell, I lost, I think I was 19. And in that moment, I realized that all of the bad things, all of the things that we say we would never do, the morals and the ethics that we all swear to stand on, when those morals are challenged, you get to see how human you really are. And I knew at that point in my life, in that moment, that I could really do some damage to a human being, that I could potentially take a life myself in retaliation because of how painful it was to lose a friend in the way that I lost him. And so I wanted to make sure that I honored the story of pain and the story of trauma and to say that I understand what it's like to feel like that moment is going to last forever, that time suspends itself. And I think there are too many people, unfortunately, who gets to look through the fishbowl and gets to pass judgment as voyeurs of people living in these situations and these circumstances without understanding the ecosystem that exists within certain neighborhoods. So a lot of Jason Reynolds um, books, like I said, absolutely come from um, his life experiences, um, people that he has met, um, and they are intense. His books, a lot of them are very intense, especially this book here, Long Way Down. We have this book 
um, in paper, which you can check out on Destiny Discover just by going to Googling CCMS Media Center. Um, you can um, also uh, real soon, hopefully, not too long in the distance, you'll be able to check out the ebook. Yeah! we're getting ebooks finally we'll be getting quite a few ebooks here pretty soon and they check out just like they do um, on destiny discover except you just download them and start reading so it's actually super cool and this book here i absolutely had to buy an ebook for because um i love to hear it when authors read their own books so you get their intensity and emotion um, in their own words. So, like I said, you know, you might want to do like I did first read the book and then listen to it. You definitely get a little more out of it when you read it the second time because, like I said, a book in verse is a little more challenging to read, fewer words, but um, you do have to stop and you have to kind of chew on the words a little bit longer because they are poetic and they do have so much um, to give in such a little package. So I hope you enjoyed Jason Reynolds um, reading his first chapter. I hope you are um, maybe excited to read some of his works that really do unfortunately connect to what's going on um, in this world today. Um, he has another book um, that is about, it's the All American Boys is the title, um, that has to do with police officers shooting a young black man and, um, you know, he, he always gives some humility to his characters. Um, they have empathy. They're driven and angry and, um, you know, want revenge. But uh, for the most part, uh, the books that I've read, um, there is, there is a, a good ending to them. Uh, I can't say for all American boys because I haven't read it yet, but, um, you know, the characters definitely struggle a lot and, uh, maybe, you know, unfortunately some of you might be able to connect to, um, some of the things that are going on in these books or you've, you know, heard so much on television these days, um, so Jason Reynolds, uh, real urban fiction um, told in verse. I cannot say enough about this book. You pick it up. You've never read a book maybe. You, you don't like to read. This is one that you need to pick up and you need to read. I'm telling you, if you haven't read a book, you don't like to read, you need to pick up Jason Reynolds' book, Long Way Down. I hope you thoroughly enjoy it. I will see you next Friday on First Chapter Fridays with Ms. Bleed at CCMS. Have a wonderful weekend.